Hi, in this video I'll be introducing you to Hubble's Law. In my previous video about the Big Bang, I explained that we know that the universe is expanding because all galaxies are receding away from us. This can be observed through the stellar spectra being redshifted. We can measure the distance to a galaxy using Cepheid variable stars. These two quantities can be plotted on a graph producing an approximately linear relationship. Therefore, we can deduce that recessional velocity is proportional to distance. This is known as Hubble's law. The gradient of this line is known as the Hubble constant. Therefore, we can write the equation as v velocity is equal to the Hubble constant h0 multiplied by the distance d. The Hubble constant represents the current rate of expansion of the universe. It's important to recognise that the Hubble constant is not actually constant. It's only the current rate of expansion. We'll explore how this changes in a later video. The Hubble constant is the gradient of a velocity against distance graph. We know that distance divided by velocity equals time, so the Hubble constant must be 1 divided by time. We can check this by looking at the units. Typically, we use units of kilometers per second and megaparsecs on the graph, giving us a Hubble constant in kilometers per second per megaparsec. However, the SI units are, of course, meters per second and meters. So this would give us a Hubble constant with a unit of seconds to the minus one per second. OK, so 1 divided by h0 will give us a time, but what does this time represent? This time represents how long it has taken for the galaxies to reach their current distance away from us, assuming that the expansion has been linear. In other words, it gives us an upper limit on the age of the universe. So the simplest equation in your data booklet, t approximately equals 1 divided by h0, actually gives us an estimate for something as profound as the age of the universe, which I think is quite cool. Here's an example. The current best estimate for the Hubble constant is around 70 kilometers per second per megaparsec. We can convert this to 70,000 meters per second per megaparsec. We know that one megaparsec is equal to 3.09 times 10 to the power of 22 meters. So in SI units, the Hubble constant will be 2.27 times 10 to the power of negative 18 seconds to the power of negative 1. Therefore, 1 divided by h0 will be equal to 4.41 times 10 to the power of 17 seconds, or 1.40 times 10 to the power of 10 years. That's about 14 billion years. This is a little higher than the current best estimate of the universe's age of 13.8 billion years. This discrepancy is because the expansion of the universe is not linear. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.